is more appropriate than these movies. I mean, just sort of like for the last ten years of my life doing them. So why not? It's so fun, and I get to kick butt. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's awesome. Look, the fact is, what I've always said is it's amazing to do, like, really serious movies, but what's amazing about Resident Evil is that you have a chance to do a really great, fun Are story and have fun. Pictures? It's like going really. to Disneyland, going to Magic Mountain, you know? You get to make a movie where you're flying, that, and yeah. you're kicking butt, and you're training, and you're just doing so much stuff that you can never do in real life. And I love that, just living in this sort of different world. You, you did play a lot of physical roles, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you, but you're good at it, right? <laughs> now, Allie, you came in, and obviously, uh, Allie's our heroes, we all know that. <laughs> and, you know, I have to say, Final Destination is a great movie, by the way. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Thank you. Oh, it's so good. Paul and I did a Final Destination set. So clearly, there's a lot of camaraderie here. You guys oh, are we have so much fast fun. friends, I mean, right? It, it's one of the greatest things. I was so excited to come back and you know to see you know Mila. I mean, she brings so much to these movies and their collaboration. I was there, you know, every day watching them, and you know there aren't a lot of women that can come in and embody this kind of character and. It, she brings so much style and so much class to it. It's so much fun to watch, and she kicks ass like well, no other. It takes one to know. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's fun because, you know, it's like girls aren't always cool, you know, and I come in there, and we just have a lot of fun together. I hope that you see that on the screen. You know, we're laughing. We love both, you know, figuring out our stunts and really getting dirty in there. So. Oh, yeah, we had a fight sequence. Oh, so we did it together. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh. Just do it now. Let me ask let me ask you a question, Paul. Why <laughs> what what do you think has made this series so, so successful? Because there's been a lot of these uh, movies based on video games, but this one really is the most popular and the most successful. What do you think it is about this particular uh, series that's made it so popular? I think we let touch on it. Um, we're all <laughs> Guns, yeah! <laughs> Woo! What's not to like about that? That's a good combination. But also, you know, the, the movie's made by fans of the video game to start with. You know, we, we're all very passionate about the source material. And the movies are made with a lot of passion and energy. And, um, and also, they're financed by a studio that's very behind the franchise. And, for example, for this movie, you know, they said, yes, they're making 3D. And I said, I want this movie to be more epic than the other Resident Evil movies. So they said, yes, go track around the world to shoot it. So this film, you know, the fourth film in the franchise, and at a point where a lot of other studios would be trying to get cheap ads and do it a little cheaper, Sony spent more money than ever before on the film. They allowed me to go and shoot in Tokyo, in Los Angeles, in, uh, we shot in Canada, we even shot in the snow and ice in Alaska. You know, they really, they allowed me to make a globe-trotting movie, and having that kind of support is very, very important to a franchise like this. Amen. Great. Amen. Uh, you know, before yeah. I turn it over to the audience for questions. Uh, it is true. Sorry to interrupt you. I mean, from the first film, I mean, when it was me and Michelle, I mean, it started out, and it was like, we, you know, all the actors just love the game, you know, and, and now it's me and Ali. I mean, it's, it's really like one of those things where you come from a fan kind of place where you're like, oh, Resident Evil, awesome, I want to do this, you know, I love that game so much, and, you know, I think that passion really shows on screen, I guess, you guys would know better than we do, but I guess it's number four, so. Do you think the passion works, shows, guys? You know, and I, I think yeah. we're into it, you know, we love to do it, and, you know, we're just so lucky to have Allie back on this one. And also, I mean, it's like, this one is almost the closest to the video game. I mean, you brought in so many cool, you know, direct shots and different things, right? Oh, I think the yeah, real fans of Resident Evil are going to be so excited when they do this There's a fight sequence that Allie's in that's, like, literally <laughs> from the game. It's sick. It's sick. You guys are going to flip out. Yeah. 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 That's not our original idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's some shit. I was great. Now, you know, I've got to, like, back the game. Oh, no. and, like, you know, Oh, real, real quick, the, the talk about the difference between kind
kind of the you know the slapdash conversion stuff that a lot of films are doing now. People are rushing to turn these movies into 3D as opposed to something like yours, where it is actually meant to be a 3D motion picture. Well, I think I mean there's no doubt. It's a lot harder and a lot longer. It's a hundred. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Gotcha. Gotcha on video. I love it. You were saying that. I don't know what the question was, man. Talk about the difference between your film that's specifically made to be in 3D as opposed to like Alice in Wonderland. They converted it to 3D or Clash the Titans. They converted it to 3D. I mean, there's, there's no doubt. If you, if you look at movies that are converted and you look at movies that are actually originated in 3D, the quality is a lot better um, of a, a movie that's actually shot in 3D. I mean, there's no doubt. I mean, if you convert, absolutely, you get a 3D image. But, I mean, for me, it's like it's like com comparing, like, a fine bottle of Dom Perignon champagne with a bottle of Kate Stripper. They'll both get you wasted, but guess which is going to be the better experience? <laughs>